Hey what's good, I'm Sadia and here I've got this mini DVD player which I purchased from Amazon. It's pretty old school but I got it mainly to play some old family weddings and parties from like a decade ago. So let's get it unboxed. First up you get a user manual, pretty standard. Then there's the mini DVD player itself. It's nice and small as you can see and it's super lightweight so it's definitely got that portable factor to it. On its side are all of the inputs and outputs. You've got the volume up and down slider, a headphone jack, TF card slot, USB port, AV out, HDMI out and of course a USB-C connector to power it. Next up, the accessories. So the box comes with a USB-C cable to power the DVD player and the power adapter to go with it. It has a USB slot on the side. I think it would have been better in the center because now you'll have to make sure that nothing is connected to the left of it. It's not the end of the world as I've got the space for it, but it's probably not ideal for some people. Then you've got the RCA cables, which you don't even really need to connect to older traditional TVs. I've got a smart TV, so I won't be using this, but it's there if you need it. You can control the DVD player using the remote control that's applied. It's nice and light and the buttons are really soft, so it's nice and quiet. It does require two AAA batteries though, which you will need to buy separately. And then finally, the last thing in the box is the HDMI cable for connecting the DVD player to your TV. And that's everything that you get with this mini DVD player. Time to set it up. So let's connect the USB cable to the power adapter and plug that in, just like that. And once it's powered on, you'll see the screen display a high followed by the blinking red light to indicate that it's loading. But of course, I've got no disc in there yet, so it's displaying no CD. Opening and closing is straightforward. Just a simple touch. And powering it on and off is exactly the same. You can of course use the remote control as well. All right, now let's hook it up to the TV using the HDMI cable and that's it. Now it's time to put the disc in and get watching. As a FYI, it supports all discs as listed on screen now, as well as a USB and TF card, but just know that it doesn't support MP4 files or Blu-ray discs. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching, peace.